Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical from The Gamers Joint, and today i got a very special guest on my channel. It's the one and the only HMK. Yes, that's right, guys. If you guys are here to watch my Kingdom Hearts content, then you'll definitely know who HMK is. He is a very valued member of the uh, X Keepers and a very good friend of mine as well. Introduce yourself, bro. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm HMK, and it's so good to be here on The Gamers Joint. Thank you so much, Cynical. All good, bro. So today we're going to be talking about... 8 Keyblade transformation ideas from the brain of HMK. Um, of course, his ideas are, are being actually featured on my channel, so be sure to head over to his channel. Um, of course, subscribe to him if you guys haven't already. Great content he produces, but uh, that way you can also see my 8 ideas that I came up with as well. But um, yep, so we're just going to be going through 8 ideas out of the brain of HMK and of course uh, we'll just discuss on each of his ideas so uh, without further ado go f go forth all right let's do this all right so I've come up with eight uh, Kimberly transformations just like cynical right here and the first one I came up with which is very similar to one he stated on the other video is a long katana now, uh, he states before that he wanted the sam uh, Samurai Sword Keyblade transformation. I also want this in the form of a long katana, you know, specifically very, very long because they can take uh, parts of the Keyblade and, you know, rearrange them and just make it like huge, like probably two times the height of Sora himself. And the way I want this to work is that it's a very, very, very powerful item, but it doesn't, you can't swing it very much. But when you do swing and when you do connect, oh man. The Heartless is in for the business. And that's the kind of weapon I want to see. Well, the first type of Keyblade transformation I want to see. And it's a very, very, very uh, desired weapon of mine. Because I am a sucker for all types of swords, especially a katana. So, well, Cynical, what do you think about that? So, yeah, um, I, I'm all in for the katanas, the samurai swords, whatever. And like you said, like a huge, uh, you know, katana would definitely be very, very cool. Very reminiscent of Sephiroth's. Uh, huge sword, of course. Everyone knows the, uh, you know, Sephiroth's item, uh, his weapon. And of course, how many times have you freaking died from that, right? But um, yes, a very huge katana and stuff. A very slow attacking speed. But then, you know, of course, when the katana connects with the enemies on the field, shit gets carved up. And I like the idea of that. I would also like a um, upgraded version of Zetsuken to be implemented with this Keyblade transmission. I think that'd be really, really super badass with the whole cherry blossoms raining down once you've striked. Uh, very rem reminiscent of, you know, the Japanese culture and all that. But uh, yeah, I'm all in for that. Very cool, very cool. Now, the second uh, Keyblade transformation is another one shared with Cynical, and that's where it stops there. So, for you guys who are like, oh, you're just copying Cynical, you can stop <laughs> that right now. Um, the next one is a Scythe, and just like Cynical, I am a sucker for Scythes, and I would love to see the Keyblade transform into a Scythe, a weapon of mass doom and death wielded by the Green Reaper himself, and I would love to see that in an effect where it clears Heartless left and right you can really attack from anywhere anywhere 360 degrees of death that's why i want a site cubate transformation what say you oh uh, i absolutely like like i mentioned in uh in your video bro i i love scythes so freaky much they're so badass so like evil looking and just oh my god when you see one you just shivers go down your spine you know shit is gonna happen but um I love Malusha for the reason of his weapon, pretty much, and his pink hair. Okay, don't hate. But anyway, <laughs> um, I, I love size, and because of Malusha, that's you know, I, that's why I love Malusha. I'd love um, some abilities for Malusha to be sort of implemented with this Keyblade transformation, like his iconic teleportation ability. So possibly you could like teleport behind Heartlesses and just like swing the scythe and um, possibly do. Uh, maybe like raise enemies up from the ground by swinging the scythe up or something i don't really know but i am definitely definitely all in for a scythe transformation and you know you just made me think of something when you were talking about how it's such an evil looking weapon and once you see it instills fear into you how about when you transform your keyblade into a scythe it creates an effect where all enemies in front of you literally just get frozen just from the fear of seeing the scythe for the easy picking yes that would definitely be badass tremble in fear instead of like run right yeah it's like heartless no no fear yeah right i'll oh, show yes. you fear 
<laughs> All right, so the next uh, Keyblade transformation is uh, Gauntlets. Um, I just want the because uh, we've seen how the Keyblade transforms into the two shoot blaster. I want them to transform into two Gauntlets, which uh, form fit onto Sora's hands, so he can actually fight hand to hand, not with claws or anything like closed fist brawling. And I would love to mm. see that. And you know, not only can it be used. For great attacking, maybe at one point Keyblade transformations are used to, you know, access certain areas of the map, and the gauntlets can be used to break down walls or uh, lift heavy objects or something like that. I would love to see gauntlets, the Keyblade transform onto your fists, and then you just go crazy with haymakers and punches and uppercuts and shoryukens or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I I definitely like that idea, and I especially love the idea of you know being able to lift up heavy objects you know maybe that you know with that with you saying that it makes me believe you know like maybe square enix wants to get the environment more involved with the combat so possibly there are different um objects uh, surrounded in the battlefield and it would definitely get the the environment more involved with the actual combat um so you know maybe there's like giant boulders that you could pick up with these gauntlets and you could just freaking you know throw it at like a whole group of partless to create this massive boom area of effect smash ability or something and of course the uh you know uh close combat sort of combat you know doing uppercuts and whatnot falcon punches hey why not oh yeah uh, <laughs> but um yeah i'm down for that of course you know anti-form was very uh you know sore there was no keyblade involved with anti-form and i loved anti-form how you just punched shit up and stuff so um yeah i love the idea of the gauntlets all right cool cool now the next one uh number four is that i want the keyblade to transform into a suit of armor to clad your hero in defenses now i don't want this to be confused with the keyblade armor you know the, the armor that terra aqua and ventus use it could be similar to that but i want to be a specific keyblade that goes over your body in like a suit of armor and instead of you know increasing your offensive capabilities it increases your defensive capabilities uh maxwell it creates like a barrier around your hp because the way i think it works is that uh kingdom hearts 3 is going to be the next game is going to be harder there's going to be a lot of heartless there's going to be a lot of enemies the ai is going to be increased so in tight situations i think an armor suit will come great in handy you know to block on enemies and to uh kind of like wait it out and attack while your defenses are very very high and uh yeah that's basically in a nutshell i would like a suit of armor a keyblade a keyblade transformation armor not keyblade armor yeah um i like this idea because you know numerous has stated that um the the uh, possibilities for these transformations are endless. I mean, they don't have to be weapons. They can be other things like support items and whatnot, and they don't all have to be offensive. So defensive things, you know, to aid you in battle, to reduce damage sort of thing, um, definitely a really, really good idea. And of course, we we know that King Hearts is a challenging, you know, franchise, but of course, I believe that things are gonna get uh, pumped up a notch in Kingdom Hearts 3. We're gonna have some insanely uh, tough fights, and I believe the secret bosses in Kingdom Hearts 3 are going to be really, really hard. I think Square Enix are really going to uh, definitely push us to the edge uh, this time as far as the difficulty for bosses go. Um, so I believe that uh, these different defensive things are going to help us out. Uh, for example, you know, reducing damage um, and stuff like that, and uh, putting some sort of barrier or some sort of aura over your HP bar, I think that would definitely help us out in these more tight uh, and harder situations that we're going to experience in Kingdom Hearts 3. So I'm down for it. Nice. Now the next one is uh, vehicles. Now a lot of people are saying that, oh, the Keyblade should transform into a Keyblade Glider. Um, that's cool, but I don't want it to be singled out to just a Keyblade Glider. I would like it to turn into uh, various vehicles, maybe a Keyblade Motorcycle or a Keyblade Bumper Car or a Keyblade um jet or a keyblade heart air balloon something something creative and i would love to see that uh used in the sense of attacking because of course if we're going to use a mode of transport then i would love to go with the keyblade glider but for something for transport a uh, motorcycle to just you know run over enemies or a hot air balloon to just drop down bombs or something like that i would like to see a array of vehicles that the keyblade can transform into in kingdom hearts 3. Yeah, um, I like this idea too, um, like I mentioned before, of course, you know, 
the possibilities are endless. So I think vehicles is something that we are most likely to see. I love the whole idea of a motorcycle, definitely. Just being able to zoom around the area of the map and stuff and just barge into groups of enemies and then possibly do like some sort of um, attacks with the actual motorcycle itself using, you know, turning the actual motorcycle into a weapon. That'd be cool. The balloon idea would definitely give you an aerial advantage. So, you know, it could really mix up, like, these different vehicle transformations could really mix up the uh, the combat, giving you some sort of uh, speed advantage or, like, an aerial advantage. So, I'm down for that, and I really like that idea. Cool, thanks. Now, the, the next idea I have is kind of weird, but bear with me, all right? All right. I would like the Keyblade to transform into needles. Needles? Oh. Needles. Explain. Now, now, not the type of needles like, oh, the needles that you used to sew, HMK? No, bro. Now, I'm talking about like needles, kind of like, like ninjutsu needles. Very thin needles that you hold up into your, uh, into your arm or between your knuckles and you throw at your opponents with flashing speed, like darts, something like that. And I would love the Keyblade just to break down completely into little, little darts and then you just throw them out heartless. And, I, Jared, I know you like to play Halo. So how about something like the Needler? Like if you throw a lot of uh, oh, needles yes. and enough needles go in, the heartless just goes explode. boom, explode, done, finished. So, I was pretty skeptical about this idea, but as soon as you mentioned that, the whole like, you know, Needler effect to it and, you know, enough needles go into the enemy, then the enemy just goes freaking boom. I'm down for that. Yes, that sounds absolutely awesome. But needles never really came to my mind, you know, before I was trying to think of ideas. But I think, you know, Square Enix have, they're so creative with their games, so just things like that I think are very, very possible because, you know, the minds of the developers are so creative and just things like that make the game so much more interesting. So, I've never thought of these needle things, I, it never came to my mind, but just for the whole creativity of it and stuff, I'm going to say yes, I think that's a really cool idea. Yay! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> the next one is uh, Boomerangs. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge Legend of Zelda nut, and uh, the way the boomerangs work in those games serve me well, and I would think that boomerangs could serve you well in Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 as well. Like, the Keyblade just transforms into a boomerang. Now, the way it will work is, that, of course, boomerangs are not really uh, close-range melee weapons, so, of course, that's going to hinder you in that, excuse me, in that sense. But uh, in the sense where you can just throw the uh, boomerang, like, long range, and they could take out enemies and possibly one hit, that would be great. And the farther away you are from uh, from throwing it, the more damage it does. And the more enemies are in the area of the first enemy that gets hit with a boomerang, it uh, gets hit with the next boomerang. It has a, uh, a sort of domino hopscotch effect. And I would love to see a boomerang in Kinmar Street. What say you, bro? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this uh, gaming franchise, but it's called uh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. I used to play it all the time when I was a kid. It's it's an awesome game. It sounds like a piece of shit, but honestly, it's so much fun. Um, and his, the iconic weapon for it was a boomerang. So I think um, you know a boomerang would definitely be really really cool. I love the boomerang as a weapon. It's a very Aboriginal sort of thing, um, and I think it'd be cool. Maybe you could like charge it up and then like throw it and it could hit like multiple en enemies at a distance sort of thing. Uh, but I like the idea of it because, you know, I really like them as weapons. Uh, they're very unique, so, yep. Very cool. Now, the last weapon I had in my mind may be a long shot, but for the sake of, you know, uh, throwback and originality and origins, I would like the Keyblade to transform into a chainsaw. Oh, yes. Chainsaw. The That's original. Like Arts edition. Okay, okay, not that kind of chainsaw, bro. <laughs> Slow your roll. I'm talking about the original chainsaw b weapon blade that we saw Sora, the, the lion Sora had in the concept art. Yes. Yeah, yes. I would love to see that. So, you know, you throw back and it's like, hey guys, remember this? I would love to see that. Now, I know it's a long shot because I mean, chainsaw, weapon, Kingdom Hearts, Disney doesn't really add up in a very positive way. But I would love to see a chainsaw, the chainsaw weapon, the original chainsaw blade weapon that Lion Sora had from the concept art. I would love to see that finally come to light in the last Kingdom Hearts game, in the final Kingdom Hearts game of the Xehanort Saga. I would love to see that happen. What about you? 
Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely would too. Like, it's it's very interesting when you look at those, you know, the removed content. I, I've covered the removed content on most of the Kingdom Hearts games, and um, that was definitely one of the most interesting things I picked out was the whole lion sword, but the, you know, the actual weapon itself, um, the chainsaw, chainsaw, like, sword blade thingy, it, it's, it's very odd, you know, of course, Disney, like you said, Disney chainsaw thing, it doesn't really add up, but it's very, very cool. Um, the thing is, though, like you mentioned, Disney with a chainsaw, that's the thing that I think that's going to really stop it, but um, if, you know, Disney is going to be all good with it, then I'll be, hey, that's great, I'd love to see something that was once an actual idea be re-implemented in the game, so I say yes to that. Alright, very cool, very cool. So, there you have it. Those were my eight Keyblade ideas. Alright guys, well, that's it. Of course, like HMK said, that's his eight ideas. Be sure to go over to his channel. Annotation will be on the video as well as the description or info box for the video. Go over to his channel, subscribe to him, check out his content, and be sure to check out my eight Keyblade transformation ideas on his channel. And um, thanks for being here today, HMK. It's a real honor, bro. Alright, thank you so much, bro. It's great to be here. And um, as always, guys, be sure to hit that like button to share the love. Follow me on Twitter for more news and updates. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.